Something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break things. My life is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Break things. My life is complicated. It was the week before Christmas, and all was a flurry, as my friends and I had to scurry, or else we'd be late for school. I thought this snowshoe thing would be easy. Maybe if you had snowshoes. Not if. When. What do you think's sitting under our Christmas tree right now? Oh, you peeked, didn't you? You don't have to unwrap them to know what they are. At least I don't have to snoop. My Christmas gift's flying all the way from Ireland this year. <laughs> Your granda? Mm-hmm. I convinced Mom to cook a tofurkey this year. Other than that, it's Christmas as usual at my house. Which, if I remember correctly, means total perfection. Yup. At least once a year, the Spitzes have an out-of-family experience. Mom stops working and gets into baking. We decorate the tree together. My brothers and I go door to door singing carols. This is my absolute favorite time of year. Oh, Sharon! Look! Huh? We used you as our model. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other great thing about Christmas? Not seeing Nina? For two whole weeks. Mm. <laughs> Everybody's names are in here, so one at a time. No swapping, no throwbacks. Let's all get into the spirit of Secret Santa and draw! Ah! I hope I pick Alden. I'm gonna get a movie passes for two. And hope he'll invite you along. <laughs> I'll get you, Maria. <laughs> Spitz, Wong, your inattention is holding up my festive homeroom activity. Please be Alden. Please, please, please be Alden. Ah! <sighs> what do you get for the person you hate most in the world? How about one of these? Nothing says, I can't stand you, but Merry Christmas anyway. Quite like candy cane bubble bath. Think for a sec, Sharon. Nina must have interests, other than herself. Well, I mean, you two were best friends until second grade. Ah, angels! She used to really be into angels. Eh, why not? She already looks down on us. She might as well do it from a cloud. So you get some cheap plastic angel thing and bam, you're done! <laughs> Is that the true spirit of Secret Santa? Of course not. It's about being generous. No. No what? I do everything I can to put up with Nina's attitude all year long. Why should I be forced to be nice to her at Christmas? It's totally hypocritical. I think you're making this a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't care. I'm not buying her a present. The thing I needed was Nina Harper bringing me down at Christmas. This was the one time of year when everything complicated became simple again. When life felt perfectly right. There was no way I was going to let anyone or anything make it wrong. So there. Do I give the impression that I like to cook? What about this practical accessory? <laughs> Very cute. <laughs>
I might as well wear a kick me sign on my back. What's this? Don't tell me you caved. I realized my initial reaction may have been a bit harsh. Ow! Aren't angels supposed to be light? It's five dollars worth of pennies. Pennies? <laughs> That's your present? That's a wee bit tacky, don't you think? I didn't have time to go back to the mall. Uh, at least I tried. <laughs> wow, thanks, Allison. Merry Christmas, Sharon. You? You're my secret Santa? Looks like it, huh? <sighs> I hate secret Santa. I always get something totally worthless. I'm, I'm just grateful that nobody even tried to get me anything this year. Aren't you gonna follow her? Give her your pennies? After that? You hurt her? She doesn't even want a present. No. I'll get her the angel. I'll give it to her when we get back in January. There's always tonight. We get out early so you can go to the mall and... Forget it! Tonight's Christmas Eve. We'll be decorating our tree and... Help me carry this home? Oh, hello. Oh, hi, sweetie. Mrs. Brown, you're early. Look, why don't you take a seat in my office? I'm just gonna grab us some fresh coffee. Mom, say I get this great gift basket from Nina. Does that mean I have to give her something more great? Sharon, I'd love to help you with your problems, but right now I'm really running behind. The psychiatric clinic at the hospital asked for volunteers to help handle the Christmas rush, and... Oh, oh my. What the... The counter. The walls. Seeing how tonight's the first night of Hanukkah, I thought I'd make potato pancakes. You thought... Since when do you celebrate anything other than Christmas? Since I decided to explore Dad's heritage this year. But Dad's not even in town this year. So? We are 50% Jewish. We should at least make an effort to see what that side's about. Mom! You want to try one? It's the traditional food made to celebrate the Festival of Lights. Mom! I just picked Jerry up from the airport. You mind if he pitches his tent in the backyard? Jerry? You mean my cousin Jerry? Well, what are you doing here? He's here for the holidays, Mom. Didn't I tell you? I didn't tell you. Merry Christmas, cuz! Looking forward to celebrating with the family. Now, tell me where to pitch this thing and you won't even know I'm here. Is this that weird cousin you told us about? The one that never goes inside? Uh-huh. He picks a different family member every Christmas and camps on their lawn. Wherever is fine, Jerry. I'm sorry, Mom. I could have sworn I told you he was coming. Might need some help, though. I'm sure Adam would love to help you, Jerry. He's been looking forward to spending all of Christmas with you. That a boy, Adam. Say, you look pretty strong. You ever dug up frozen earth with your bare hands before? I better cook up some more latkes. Cousin Jerry's probably starving. Good idea. Now, I don't mean to be rude, but I have to go deal with... You're patient? Mom, you never work on Christmas Eve. Uh, maybe you could get started on the tree. But don't we usually do the tree together? It was obvious. If I wanted this Christmas to be as perfect as every other year, I had to take charge. Fast. Cousin Jerry, we're decorating the tree. Sorry, Sharon. We're a little behind setting up camp. The back lawn resisted us. But I need help now. I'll put on the porch light later so you can see what you're doing. First rule of the outdoors, never depend on non-natural lighting. But Adam's the only one who can reach the top branches. I'll be there in a minute. Adam, my man, look around you. There are plenty of trees outside that we can admire. They don't need decorating to be beautiful. But Jerry... Come on, buddy. There's so much I have to teach you. Hey! Wow. How'd you do that? Self-defense is key to surviving in the wilderness. Uh... Um... 
You want the lights or the tinsel? Actually, by celebrating Hanukkah, I'm abstaining from anything to do with Christmas. But I'm going to clean up the kitchen. Can you believe that menorah belonged to Dad's great-grandmother? So I guess this means caroling's off, too. Okay, I'll do it. While I'm waiting for my family to come to its collective Christmas senses, I'll go out and get Nina her angel. Sure, it won't be as big or as expensive as this, but that doesn't matter, right? Hello? So? What'd she get you? Shouldn't you be outside practicing your snowshoeing? I'm taking a break. So what did she get you? Uh, a t-shirt that says, I love me. Well, oh, very Nina to be your own fan club. Little bottles of shampoo and body lotion. Uh, the kind they give you in hotels. Figures she'd take those home. And car calendars? Doesn't her dad own a dealership? Oh, wait, there's something else. Aww, a big blue kitty cat. With a white furry stomach and a big kitty cat smile. Sharon, you've been re-gifted. Re-what? I gave that cat to Nina for Secret Santa last year. I knew it. This is just like Nina, acting like she's oh so generous and everything. But I mean, doesn't she realize everyone knows how fake she is? What a cheapskate. Uh, well, you were going to give her pennies. So? What she did was way worse. Uh, Maria, I think I have to go. Adam! Sorry, sis. Jerry wants me to hang his food from the tree. I... Can you go any higher? I'll try, Cousin Jerry. He's afraid the bears are going to get it. Adam, this is suburbia. Bear population, zero. Try telling that to him. Don't forget. Where there's food, there are bears, and where there are bears, take care. Adam, I want you down from there. Don't worry, cuz. The kid's just doing me a favor. By risking his life? You see that window, Jerry? That's our guest room. Normal people stay there when they come to visit. Are you saying I'm not normal people? Yes! Cuz? It's, it's not like I meant to impose. Mom, you shouldn't have yelled at him like that. Did you know he stayed with Aunt Eleanor last year? All Christmas Eve, he kept her up by banging sticks together to chase away the bobcats. So? Aunt Eleanor lives in Manhattan. You know, Mom, Jerry might be weird and everything, but at least he's fun. Now look what you've done. Drive me to the mall. There's one last thing I have to get. Me too. Candles for my menorah. I don't have time for trips to the mall. Besides, didn't I tell you both? I know, I know. Decorate the tree. Nobody was helping me. I'm not helping you because I'm trying to celebrate Hanukkah. A decision neither of you can seem to respect. Why can't you just do Hanukkah and Christmas together? Is it such a terrible big deal to stick to some of our family traditions? You mean like eating a normal turkey? Eating a tofurkey makes perfect sense. Who wants to have a dead bird in the middle of the table? What kind of celebration is that? I'm just asking our family to embrace my new beliefs, okay? So am I! Come in when Christmas is over! No tree decorating. No caroling. What's next? No baking? Baking? You are making your special sugar cookies this year, right? Are you crazy? Do you know what kind of workload I've been dealing with, Sharon? Do you know how hard I have been trying to juggle everything? Do I care? Sharon, it's not like I want to be this stressed. Where are you going? I don't know. Connors? Maria's? Anywhere they're having a real Christmas! Well... If it isn't Miss Sharon, and you brought the wee ones, Pigger, Samson. Pretty good, eh? I hate to say this, but you sound like a Russian leprechaun with his mouth full. You're saying it needs work? Well, come on in and hear the real thing. Hey! 
I think you're wrong, and your mind's half screwy. There's nothing as green as the fields of Ireland. Except maybe you're faced with envy once you look at the hills around here in spring. Are they fighting over... Pride. That's all I get from you. Yep. Whose grass is greener? Look, Da. It's Sharon. One of Connor's wee lasses, is it? And <laughs> look, she's got the sparkly teeth. Uh, they're braces, actually. You used to have sparkly teeth like that. What are you talking about? I never had braces in my life. Do you think all this family arguing is some kind of holiday epidemic this year? Nah, they do this whenever they're in the same room together. And it doesn't bother you? Are you kidding? It's way too entertaining. Even though arguing was like a sporting event at Connor's house, it didn't exactly give me the warm fuzzies I was looking for. Meatball? Veal parmesan? Or how about some chicken chow mein? Mmm, nice and spicy. Mom, Dad, I told you she's a vegetarian. Okay, so you'll have a spring roll. And some pasta with tomato sauce. <laughs> Mom and Dad could never decide on the menu, so they agree to disagree and make enough food to feed China and Italy combined. Hi, Lee. How's college? Not bad. How's eighth grade? Way more complicated than seventh. Stan, come in the living room. We're ready to light the Yule log. When I was a little girl on Christmas Eve, my mother used to make me wish on the first log in the fire. And when I grew up, we did all our big wishing during the Chinese New Year. I hope you'll celebrate that with us too, Sharon. We like wishing in this house. And lychee nuts. In the Chinese tradition, eating these helps promote strong family relationships. Wow! How many do you need to eat before it starts working? <laughs> well, as many as you think you need. Well, then there'd be none left for anybody else. What? Christmas isn't perfect this year? Hardly. As our guest, I think Sharon should get the first Christmas wish. How is it possible that Maria's family, with all its differences, could get along and mine couldn't? It didn't make sense. Sharon, did you wish yet? I wish I may, I wish I might, have this same family feeling in my house tonight. It wasn't like we didn't love each other as much as Maria's family. It was just, well, they seemed to be able to compromise and make their own traditions out of a whole bunch of traditions. In my house, everybody seemed to be in their own world with their own priorities. But there had to be a way to at least be together without fighting. Where is everybody? Does it matter? Can't you play something a little more festive? I don't know any Hanukkah carols. Oh, okay. How about something like, On the first day of Hanukkah my bubby gave to me. You know, sort of thing. On the first day of Hanukkah my bubby gave to me A bagel with cream cheese on the second day of Hanukkah, my Bobby gave to me two spinning dreidels and a bagel with cream cheese. On the Mom! I tried calling you at your friends, but each time they said you just left. You're baking! You were right. It wasn't fair to you and your brothers that I was working so much. I just didn't know how to say no. You want to check on the tofurkey, or should I? Now we just have to convince Jerry that it's safe to come inside and eat. There's no better appetizer than my special winter soup. And after this, we can all go inside for the main course? Of course. I gave my word. I almost forgot to light the menorah. Jerry, did you find candles for me? Every good woodsman carries emergency supplies. They come in handy when malls close early. We have to do this before sundown. Blessed are you, Andone, ruler of the universe who has kept us alive and well and has brought us into this season. That's the English version. My Hebrew's a little rusty.
Is this the one you make with mud, dead leaves, wild berries, and snow? And a little tree bark for flavor. Family reunions were always more interesting with you around. <laughs> you want to see interesting? Just wait until you see the presents I've handcrafted for you guys. <laughs> presents? Oh no, there's something I have to do. After dinner. Okay, guys, let's go. Quietly. Getting over my own selfishness might have been the best Christmas gift I could give to anyone. 